This series on the Garden Gurus, we're opening up the Gardener's Toolbox, filled with solutions and ideas to solve your garden problems. When I met a client of mine, Maureen, an absolute rose fanatic, my eyes were open to appreciating the rose for its beauty, its scent and its prestige, along with the uncanny ability to win awards across the country. Beautiful and sometimes pest prone and fragile roses can be. My poor roses here got absolutely battered by the storm last night. Lots of vineyards will actually employ the use of the rose to detect when their crops are about to come down with pest or disease, because in true rose style, they will catch whatever is in the area first. So as you can imagine, you're going to need something that's specifically tailored to the rose to protect them. My roses here have just started to flower, although I've noticed some aphids have begun to swarm their new buds. I wanted to give Maureen some cut roses this season, so I've got a handy trick to protect those buds before they bloom. Yates Rose Gun and Yates Rose Shield is ideal because it's designed specifically for pests and diseases that roses can contract. So while I'm using this for the aphids, I know it's also shielding my rose against other common issues which are just about to show up this time of year. It contains a dual action formulation that combines an insecticide and systemic fungicide that works from the inside out to help control pests and diseases like black spot, powdery mildew and rust. You'll be enjoying perfect roses all season long. If you wanna lead the path to victory with your roses, then make sure to spray the whole plant, including the underside of the leaves. Spray again in 14 days, and if you notice a reinfection, repeat thereafter every two weeks. And if you're vigilant, those pests and disease won't have a chance, and you'll be creating the perfect roses to admire all season long.